out. I meant to go to Edinburgh tonight. It's fine, it's fine, it's not fine. I'm in Edinburgh and it's raining. Oh, oh, is that you locked? My weak puny arms. This is a battered Mars bar, people. Oh my God, my suitcase. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. You can pre-order my first ever poetry book now. Link is in the description. I am just getting ready to pack for my trip to Edinburgh. I'm going to Edinburgh for a couple of days. So this is the weather right now in the UK, right? Okay, ooh, definitely just broke my blinds, but that, See that beautiful weather right there? That is the weather in the UK right now. Beautiful, beautiful weather. And apparently it's like this in Edinburgh right now. But as soon as I land my feet in Edinburgh, it is just raining the whole time, like torrential rain. So I don't really know what to pack because a part of me is like hoping I can manifest the sun to stay for another couple of days, but I'm not sure. So I'm just gonna be packing for all the weathers. Okay, it's time to pack. Oh, my sunglasses. Found my sunglasses. This time I will actually remember sunglasses, even though I will not use them. All of this side is just clothes. And the reason why there's so many is because I pack for all the seasons, because we live in the UK, which is very unpredictable. Apparently it's summer in autumn, so there's that. All right, hiking boots, bucket hat, sunglasses. I think we're good. Let's go to Edinburgh, baby. Yay! So I have locked myself out. I meant to go to Edinburgh tonight. I am messaged my maintenance guy and he's on holiday in Dorset. What a great way to start this trip. It's fine, it's fine, it's not fine. <laughs> The trip hasn't even started yet, and we're already to a fine start. <laughs> that 10 second mistake of not picking up my keys cost me 506 pounds. I am back in my flat now, and I'm 506 pounds down. This is turning out to be such a great start to the trip. I'm in Edinburgh, and it's raining. We love that. Literally, as soon as I landed in Edinburgh, it started to rain. Leave the house, they said. It'll be fun, they said. As you can see, it is the perfect weather for a lovely hike. And that, my friends, is a castle. Is that where we're going to go, Seth? Heck yeah, we're going up there. <laughs> we are. And so it begins. And here we have it, the castle. Isn't it beautiful? Wherever I go, I always try to get magnets. And this one's good because it's full for £10. And that's actually a pretty good deal. So I'm going to get some. And this one's my two favourite things. It's a magnet and it's a snow globe. Guys, Mushu is my favourite. I'm not even kidding. And I, I have a mug collection. I want to collect cool mugs. I got gifted V, the V doll. That's the one I have on my bookshelf. And I want to get Jimin to go with V. My cousin is the biggest Harry Potter fan. And I found butter beer. That's so cool. So I'm gonna get her that. Thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. I have been using NordVPN for a couple of years now and it helps protect my online privacy and allows me to access my favorite content. Just a few great things about NordVPN. It has super fast service. It especially gives me peace of mind when I'm traveling because it protects my data when I'm using public Wi-Fi and it unlocks Netflix. That's where I was really sold. Forget protecting my data, I want all access to Netflix. So I'm in the UK, but if I click on the US VPN, I now have access to American Netflix. And you get 30 day money back guarantee, so there's no real harm in trying it out. As someone who spends most of their life online, I cannot recommend it enough. Go to nordvpn.com slash clickbataz, or you can use my coupon clickbataz to get a two year plan plus a bonus gift with a huge discount. Thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. All the links are in the description. Check it out. Look at the spiral steps. Welcome to the humble abode. This is such a nice place. Whoa! That's what it looked like. This room, this bathroom is bigger than our entire cabin <laughs> on the train. Wow. It's like Sherlock Holmes. There's so many doors, so many exciting possibilities. Cute. <laughs> Q 
cute. Look at our sofa situation. We got a TV. We got 360 view of Edinburgh. We don't need to go any for a good view. We have it. Oh my. Oh, I love this setup. Bro, we can just chill here, you know? Look how nice this view is. How nice is this view? That's the view from our apartment. How nice is this apartment? It almost gives me the Christmas vibes. Like you're just expecting it to snow. Oh, 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 is that she locked? Yeah, let's not break someone else's apartment. Let's not do that. Oh, this is nice. And then we have a kitchen. Oh, nice. One thing I like about Edinburgh is that it really does feel like you're going back in time. We don't know how old this is. But like, it has such a historic feel to it. Like, I feel like I've time traveled. All about those lunges, baby. Literally. Oh, look at that, jeez. Oh, it's an H&M over there. <laughs> you know what's funny? How we're like, oh, look how historic it looks. Look how beautiful it looks. And then we're like, oh, there's a high street there. Let's go there. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> now it's time for Mission Impossible because we have a huge flight of steps and a lot of luggage to get through, so I'm gonna try and get this up the steps. Wish me luck. Oh my God, my weak puny arms. So many more steps to go. Oh my God, I'm losing my balance. And we're here. Thank God, and now I, and we're in. That was a workout and a half. Like I love Edinburgh, it's really pretty, but man, these steps. They're killing me. The weather has turned really foggy now. Now it actually looks like I'm in Hogwarts. Look how nice these shops are. I'm gonna explore some of them now. This one has piqued my interest. High in the sky. I found another cool vintage store. I mean, I think I showed you some of these things, but I did a bit of shopping today. I got a Mushu mug. I got Jimin. I got my friend a really cool snow globe. I got my cousin a black pink t-shirt. And then this is the vintage jacket I picked up from uh, the vintage store. And it was 18 pounds, which I think is pretty good. I also bought like magnets and things like that. That's me after my nap. And look what just arrived. It's a takeaway. Classic me got Indian. Look how red that is. Oh, smell that. Mm. It smells quite sweet, actually. Yeah, it does. Okay, this is just like Not so sweet. red. I can never get enough of rice. See that? I don't even know how long of a nap I had. I think it must have been like an hour and a bit. Be ready for a rave tonight, sir? Yeah, can't wait. <laughs> It's quite well, spicy. If you're gonna Ooh. find it spicy, oh my god. I mean, it's not like spicy spicy, but it's like, I'm you know. gonna like, hold that ramen, I can't. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. It's a kicker, that one, isn't it? Mm. That's nice. We're quite different when it comes to how we do holidays. Is mm. that the best way to explain it? I'm a massive homebody. So even when I'm away, I still like, I will always go for an Airbnb over a hotel. And I like it to be like a home away from home. Seppi, you're more of an itinerary like, you yeah. want to make the most of your trip and do lots of activities, right? Yeah. But you get so exhausted by the end, you know? If you're like constantly go, 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 go. Like, mm. I mean, that's one, some, one thing I've definitely realised. I think it's just balance, but like, yeah. we always say that. We always know that the answer is balance, but yeah. it's quite hard to get balance in life. Mm. But it's been nice that on this trip, we've both kind of done each other's kind of thing. Yeah. Because we, we have done a lot of back-to-back -back activities. Yeah. Because we literally haven't slept in yeah. like 24 <laughs> hours. Um, but we've also now doing the... Because you're not used to doing this part, right? No, but I love it. It's nice, it's right? It's so nice to like chill. Yeah. You know? I think we we're finally getting the balance. Yeah. Seppi was having a shower, I just knocked out. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then I woke up to her falling asleep on the windowsill. <laughs> I'm like, Seppi, you can go in the bed, it's okay. It was so sweet because I was in the shower, right? And I was like blasting music. I was like, woo, I was like so high energy. <laughs> then I like, I, it felt so quiet. And then when I turned the corner, I just saw you, you were just like, <laughs> like wrapped up literally your whole body like the duvet was wrapped right up to your neck and all I could see was just your head <laughs> like eh? Seppi might have figured it out. No, don't jinx it. Sorry, I'm sorry, scared. okay. I'm scared. Why are you scared, bro? I, okay. I, I always feel like I jinx something when I say something's worked and then it hasn't. Oh, it's okay. I believe in you. Did we do it? 
Okay. Do you want to explain what's going on, Seth? I just hate spiders. And also one right by my suitcase. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Kind of weird, but I'm really not that bothered with things like spiders oh, no. and stuff. Because that one's going to be massive. And no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. no. So. Oh, oh. oh my God, I see it now. Wow, you can see it. Do you see that? <laughs> it's okay. And away you go, little go one. <laughs> I think I should it can... Huh? I was too scared. I've already filmed the floor. <laughs> I'm really not bothered by things like spiders and I stuff. I wish I wasn't. I really can't do spiders. Like, mm -mm. Did you know that you eat mm -mm. a spider oh, in your sleep? No, no. <laughs> Hello, hi. I have decided I'm going to take advantage of having a bathtub um, and run a bath. But I've got like all the little toiletry stuff they gave me. Look, I paid good money for this, so... I might as well get my money's worth out of it. Ah, it's hot, 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 hot. Ow, the water is really hot. Oh my God, that was such a hot bath. Like I put it on the coldest temperature it could possibly go and it was still like hot water. And so I was like dying the whole time. It felt like a sauna experience and I hate a sauna because it just feels like you're burning alive the whole time. And like, I felt like I couldn't breathe and I just had to sit in the heat and like, look at it. Everything's a steaming mess. I can literally see the steam coming off my body. <sighs> that was intense. That was really hot. Um, but I'm clean now. So we love that. <laughs> Look at the mess I already made. I'm trying to fill this up, but it's really hard. Look, I'm trying to do it. I'm so hot. I feel like a steam bun. I want to like literally drench this all over me. I'm so hot. Time for bed. Hi. I actually woke up with a neck. Like, my neck was in pain. Well, it wasn't pain, okay, I'm so dramatic. But like, you know when your muscle on your neck is kind of like sore? Because I think I probably slept weird on the pillow last night. Today's plan of action is to have a typical Scottish day. I don't even know what that means. But basically, I just want to drink some iron brew and eat some haggis. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know if I'm feeling brave enough to have haggis. Today's a food tour day. Scottish kind of food. Tour. Yes, <laughs> first thing on the agenda is to get an I Love Edinburgh t-shirt. These are the only two. Like the dark one. Yeah, me too, actually. Five quid, what a bargain. The next stop is this shop to get haggis. I got me some Scottish snacks. I'm quite nervous to try the haggis. I am obsessed with like the cobbled streets and how old everything looks. I'm really happy right now. And you can hear the bagpipes in the background. It's, so cool. it's such a Scottish experience. I'm kind of freaking out. I feel like, um, you know the movie Shrek? When they go to far, far away. Oh my gosh, that's Doesn't so that true. Is? Now I feel like I'm on holiday. Oh, just look at that in the background. I literally feel like I'm in the movie Shrek. Shrek is Scottish. Feel like a tourist. <laughs> we can actually see the castle this time around. Look. So that's what it looked like. Whenever I go anywhere, one of the things on my bucket list is to get a nice view of the place. So I'm really grateful that the sun has come out and the fog has disappeared so you can actually see the view. Final thing I wanted to try, the iron brew. Hello, I am giving off massive tourist vibe today because of my t-shirt. I wonder where I am. I'm in Edinburgh and that right there is Edinburgh Castle. How stunning is that? And then there's like this bit patch of grass there. There's some few Scottish snacks I really wanted to try out. And I got my classic iron brew chocolate. So I thought we could just like chill here with that backdrop and have a few snacks. Iron brew is the drink to have in Scotland. It's like the most popular. Whoa, we have been blessed. We have been really blessed. Oh, oh. Have you had it? <sighs> oh, I love it. Yeah, it tastes like sweets. Oh, is it like really sweet? <laughs> I mean, I like it. Not a fan. Too sweet for me. Yeah, it is really sweet. It it's tastes sweet. like it tastes like liquid candy. I did try. Uh. <laughs> I tried to get the chocolate, but they were all in my bag, so they've all been squared. <laughs> this is from a brand called Tunnux. Oh. This is the only one that made a safe in my bag. Lord knows what this is because it's <laughs> so squished. And then this is Lord knows, but it's squished again. Again, no idea. I think it's coconut. Do you see that, guys? Yeah. Oh, it's like, mm. oh, it's like marshmallowy. Mm. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. I like the texture of that a lot. <coughs> that went up my nose. It's not as bad as I thought it'd be. <laughs> but I'm not the biggest fan, do you know why? It reminds me of Bounty. Oh, you don't like Bounty? Bounty is like my least favorite. Seppi has said this. She doesn't like the feel, and I don't think anyone does. The texture of feeling like you got hair in your mouth. Yeah. What is that supposed to be, Seth? Again, I think it's a marshmallow, like a marshmallow with um, chocolate. Do you want to try oh, this? Me to go first. Mm -hmm. oh. oh. I like it. Seppi found one she likes. Yay, we love that. What would you give that a 10? Oh, like an eight. Wow. Solid eight. 
Something. And now this is the caramel wafer bar. This looks really good. Oh, I like this a lot. We should get more of these. Yeah. Let's get a whole pack. Really oh, they're so chewy. I love the texture. And that has been snacks. Taste testing with Seppi and Ted. Yay. Yay. I'm blind, so I'm going to go now. <laughs> I am finally going to be trying the haggis. Going to try it. Ooh, I'm going to try it. I'm not crazy about the texture of it. Yeah, I'm not crazy about the texture of it and that puts me off the whole thing. But taste-wise, it's actually not so bad. Whatever they've seasoned this with, it's actually all right. You know what, that surprised me. I thought I was gonna gag, but it's actually not so bad. I'd give haggis a five out of 10, in the sense that it's not like awful, but it's not like great either. It's very like, I'm quite indifferent about it. Also, I really want to get a tailored suit now because this looks so good. I really enjoyed the vibe of Edinburgh. The people are so ridiculously friendly and as a Londoner, it kind of comes to you as a shock. It's so picturesque and has a very chill and timeless vibe to it. Isn't it crazy that this whole thing was fog yesterday? Like I couldn't see half of this. I'm such a sucker for a good view. So apparently in Scotland, they do something called a fried Mars bar. Mars bar is like a chocolate bar and they have a fried here with ice cream and that's like a big thing that's like a delicacy here so i was like you know what i'm gonna have to try that out apparently this place does battered mars bar try the famous deep fried mars bar. very excited to try the battered mars bar the delicacy we're finally gonna have it this is a battered mars bar people this is like a big deal here it's Bye -bye. quite hard right do it cheers mm. oh, well, well. Mm. oh step it just mm. tastes like a battered Mars bar. <laughs> oh, it's really chewy. Mm. Isn't it? Towards the end, it's really chewy. Really thick. Definitely have it with ice cream. Ice cream is a shout. I really like that. It's all stuck in my teeth. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay, I just finished it. Taste wise, I'd give it a 7.5 out of 10. Oh, yeah. uh, experience wise, it's like a 3 out of 10 because it just sticks to you and it's like so hard to chew and consume. That's where we're going. Honestly, already oh. done. Already done. We're like, already listen to us. <laughs> this is showing how I did no exercise during lockdown. <laughs> during lockdown, we had to do, well, we didn't have to, but we, we were, we had, we basically locked into our houses. Lol. And we were only allowed one hour for a walk. Uh, I didn't even do that hour walk. I was like, you know what? For me, let it was me an be extra a prisoner hour nap. <laughs> yeah. I was like, let me be a prisoner in my own house. I'm cool with that. Edinburgh? Very hilly. It is. But we're nearly at the top, baby. Look how out of breath I am. This is embarrassing. This is actually embarrassing. I'm gonna faint. Okay, bye. Oh, please don't. Okay, maybe I was a tad bit dramatic. That oh. you are so bad. <laughs> oh, wow, this view. Oh, I just wow. need to like close my eyes. I close with, like, my eyes. Imagine, imagine your boyfriend. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just, go then, I'll just go back home then, shall I? I'm just like. Ooh. Oh, please be careful, please be careful. It's not very sturdy, please be careful. <laughs> is this, okay, I'll come down because it's making no, 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 just be, just hold on. Just, in, like, this is fine. Just hold on, just hold on. Because <laughs> if you fall forward, you're going to go into spikes. And if you fall backwards, you're on concrete. So I don't know which one's really better. So um, I'm just saying that. Because <laughs> you, you probably crack your head or you're going to go into cactuses. So I don't know. Which one do you want? <laughs> bought a snack if you want one. <laughs> I love you, you're the best. <laughs> She's so cute. She's like, I bought a snack if you want one. I always I carry snacks. I love snacks. She does carry snacks in her little fanny pack. Oh, I really wish London had more places like this. I wish we had spots like this in London. I, I know, really I know. Because you get to see the whole city. Accessible. I know. I love how I'm supposed to wear glasses all the time. And this is the first time I put it on this whole trip. Edinburgh is stunning. Like so, so nice. And it feels like a real safe city. And it's really warm today. And like, I love it when it's warm in the nighttime. And it kind of made me feel like I was abroad. Like it didn't feel like I was in the UK. It felt like I was in abroad. And so like I got to see everything in HD. It was really warm and it felt like really safe and it was just a really nice vibe and a really great way to end this trip. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where I'm gonna end this video. I've had a great time in Edinburgh, it's so lovely. The people are so friendly, the weather was incredible, the city is so like fun and like just, I really like it here, I really, really like it here. Yeah, that's where I'm gonna end this vlog. Thank you so much for watching, I love you lots. Please know they matter and I shall see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, bye.